Okay, here we go again. Let's try this again. What is going on you guys? This is Pitsgate and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get a transparent stream chat on your OBS streams. Now, right here I have this handy dandy little notepad that has all the links that you will need. Um, you need Chrome first of all because you need a plugin from the Chrome Web Store called Tamper Monkey in order to run a Tamper Monkey plugin that allows you to pop out your stream chat which then allows you to color key it in OBS. So I have a download link for Chrome right there in the description. Just go down there if you're watching this on like Mozilla Firefox or something. I'm sorry, but you need Chrome for this. I don't know why you wouldn't have Chrome. Chrome is just a lot more easier. Anyways, after that, you're going to want to go to OBS and make sure that you get OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a lot easier for cropping and color keying and everything like that. So just make sure you get OBS Studio and don't give yourself a hard time doing this. After that, you're going to want to go into the Chrome Web Store and, you know, search up Tamper Monkey. Go to Extensions and it should be the first one right there. Add it to Chrome and then go down in the description, find Tamper Monkey plugin and it'll open the link and it'll lead you to this YouTube Papa Chat V2.0.3. Just hit install and you should be done with all the installation. Now just bear with me on this tutorial. Go into your live dashboard or your event page or this is even on like regular YouTube streams, right? So let's go into like J stream, for example, right? J skeleton. Right. As you can see, J is live right now. And it gives you the option right here to pop out even J stream chat. You can literally pop out his stream chat. As you can see, I recorded in the wrong bit rate. So this is like the third time I'm recording this. But yeah, you can do this with any stream now. You can pop out the stream chat. Also in your live dashboard, if you want to save bandwidth, you can toggle the video preview and stuff like that. But let's pop out my stream chat, right? Here's my stream chat, of course. And now we are going to go into OBS. So where's my other OBS? Did I, I think I exited out of that one. Okay, that's fine. Let us open OBS again. So now we're back here and let's go into, let's add a new scene. Let's just call this like bleh. And then we'll add a game capture and then we'll call it bleh. I misspelled it. And then let's just uh, capture Telltale Games, Batman. Just have this running in the background, for example. Now here's the actual game. The game's frozen right now. I just, I need to be active in it in order for it to be moving. If I exit out, it's just frozen. Don't worry about it. So now we have my YouTube stream chat and my windows disappeared. Come back windows. Love me. Then we're going to right click on the sources, add a window capture and you can call the window capture. Let's say stream chat, right? And it will just, you know, just put chrome.exe YouTube stream chat. Uh, also, if you would like to, you can uh, go into properties and disable capture cursor. It makes the stream chat look a lot better. And as you can see, the stream chat's a bit small. We don't really like it like that. So go to the bottom of the stream chat and just make it larger. It solves the problem for me. Now, we're going to be doing some cropping next. So make sure that you like right click in some of the gray areas. So that way it deselects this red border, making it easier to crop. And I'd also recommend that you make your OBS a lot bigger so that way you can get a more precise crop. So right click on the stream chat, sh the stream chat source, hit filters, add a filter. And we're going to add the crop filter. Now we're going to add, I think it's about 28. Okay. So I just make sure you know it's not selected and it's around 28. So then we're just going to hit up until that disappears. Until the white URL disappears like that. So now the white URL part is gone. And then we're going to go into right. And I believe it's about 14. And you know, you can also fine tune it. You can go down. Okay just uh, like the pixel that it disappears that's all that we need and we could do like about 60 no let's do 75 actually and then you just you know mash that up arrow until the gray bar is gone like that okay now we have the stream chat crop so now it is just the stream chat and then we are going to right click hit add and not scroll actually my apologies we're going to add a color key and then when it says key color type, we are going to hit custom color, key color, select the color, and we're going to set the HTML to all zeros. Hit OK. When it says similarity, change that to around 300 or so. 
And then for smoothness, set it to about 100, 120, 110, somewhere around there. And as you can see, now we have a stream chat. And also, if you have a really long message that is very descriptive in its context and also makes perfect sense, you can make it wider. And then it'll make the messages look like that, and but then it'll take up a lot more space. Um, this stream chat plugin mixed with the OBS crop makes uh, your stream chat a lot more malleable. So as you can see in my streaming, uh, where's my webcam? I don't. There you go. As you can see in my streaming, I can line it up with my webcam. I don't know where my webcam is, but it looks a lot cleaner. It's just, you know, I don't have some specific tabs open. But as you can see, if I'm playing, you know, I can move the mouse here and you could see behind the mouse. Kind of like if I move it here, you could still see Batman through it. It's completely transparent. So, you know, like I said, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out in any way, shape or form. If it did, be sure to smash that like button, you guys. This took a little bit of a little bit of extra effort to do just because I'm an idiot, I'm a numbnut, and I didn't double check my recordings. But anyways, if this tutorial helped you guys in any way, shape, or form, I would really appreciate if you guys drop a like. Shout out to Jay for inspiring me to make this video. And yeah, it's from Pitsky, you guys. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay sexy, and stay awesome. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!